coming to you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Ooh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. I'm an asshole. Yikes. Fighting for the powers of evil. Because good is dumb. <laughs> it's the going deep show. <laughs> Miss Fiona's with me. Yo. It's going down, lady. <laughs> I got some shit to do today. It's going down. I'm eating a healthy dose of popcorn. That's what I had for dinner last night was popcorn. I am healthy. <laughs> I am the picture of health, goddammit. Can't even believe how healthy I am. And definitely not healthy in the mind. The body is a little, it's okay. I can, I can, I looked at myself getting out of the shower this morning and I said, uh, yeah, good couple of weeks on the treadmill. I could, like, I can, I can see my abs and stuff still kind of. I, I mean, can, I could I do got, that like, too, but fuck. Yeah, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody well, gives a fuck. Well, they may want it with you. With women, it's it's different story. You well, see your gorgeous face and your boobies and your butt and everything hanging out, and and then everybody's like, I don't know, I wonder what the rest of that's going. I wonder what the rest and of it's like going and on then there. They unwrap and, it's not exactly as taut as they want. See, this I'm, I'm skinny. I'm sloppy skinny. We talked about this recently, everybody. Not to not to hit the ground run, but we're going to. Okay. <laughs> we spent some we spent some time hot tubbing recently, and you, yeah, you 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 kind of assumed that I like. Gawked at your body. Well, I'm not a gaw. Listen, I have. Some I didn't assume you gawked. Right. But I, uh, I. Your ass was in my face. It was. I, I took the chance that you may have noticed. I was gonna spank it, and I felt like I was gonna spank it, and then I said, "Bad for you." Take one of those. <laughs> take one of those mental pictures, and then go home and spank it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it rolls. That's how I roll. I'm respectful in that way. I am. I am. Take a mental picture. There you go. Save it for later. I can say honestly, I've only seen side boob on you. Okay, I've only seen side boob. Okay. No frontal boob. Okay. Well, all I mean, right. we all have boobs, men yes, and, and women. Some just, you know, some are in better shape than others, and whatever. Some are bigger. Some are smaller. What I want to tell everybody is today's episode is going to be kind of like I hate to use the word creep, but creeping a little creeping. People do this, uh, the, the internet now lets everyone look up every ex-girlfriend they've ever had, every sexual partner you've ever had, you're able to look them up, unless they have proactively decided not to get on these social networks and stuff like that, which True. some people do. There are a few, there are a few ex-girlfriends I've been wanting to look up, I can't find them. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little creepy, it is kind of creepy, I'm not, I'm, I'll admit, there's a little bit of a creep factor there. Yeah, well, I mean, I've looked people up just to see what they look like, like 10 years later, just out of curiosity. But, but on the other hand, here's the thing. I have been with women who immediately after you break up with them, you know what they do? They scrub their social media of you. You don't exist huh. anymore. Yeah, I couldn't do that. It's like, uh, delete that motherfucker, delete that motherfucker, delete that. Here's a picture we went to, went to that. We got to delete that. Got to delete that. Get, get it out of there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, there's a reason that I don't delete. Well, two reasons. The first reason is kind of like, oh, he wants to remember the memories and the good times, which is really why you do it. Yeah. What do you think the second reason for keeping any previous relationship on social media? What would be the thing that would keep them into a good, you know, into a good spot there? I don't know. Crossing paths again, maybe? Or? No. It's not for the past relationship. It's for the future relationships. Women who you're interested in want to go and see who you were with before. They want to see if they're better than them. <laughs> they want to see how they compare to them. They want to be like, because you've heard before. Uh, I, well, you don't want pictures <clears throat> of me on your shit, man. I'll tell you what. Why? Are you uh, like a, uh, are you like some type of, uh, what, what, what was that movie with Dane Cook? <laughs> Good luck Chuck or something, wasn't it? Where he would date the woman before the next relationship, which became the wedding one. Why, why would we want, why would anybody not want you on their, on their social media? Because I'd are never. poison? I'd never be able to be your friend again. They hate poisoned. me. Women hate me. They should, they, women can should fuck the fuck off. And once they get to know me, it's different, and they realize that I'm just a fucking asshole, and I talk shit, and I have a shit dumpster mouth. My brunette, my brunette uh, ex, I think, had some issues with you. She never said it. She never said it. Well, that's unfortunate because <clears throat> you guys see had some similarities. She's she. 
we, we both have these over-the-top personalities, you and I. She has an over-the-top personality, but she doesn't want to admit it. She wants to be perfect. She wants to show her boss, babe. She wants to be, here, guys, look at how good everything is. Everything in the world is good, and I'm going to try to be good. It's going to be good. Listen, that's okay. shit. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Okay, mm-hmm. everybody's dealing with their own shit. They're going to be dealing with their own shit from today until the fucking day they're dead. Glossing over all these, I'm great. Everything's wonderful. This is going to be perfect. This, look at me. Look at me. Look Quit at me. Lying. You think, and I've been called a narcissist in my world. Okay, but there's nothing more narcissistic than putting out all these fucking pictures. Look at all the goodness that is happening in my world. Where's all the bullshit? Does nothing bad happen to anyone nowadays? Because they got to be on. They're on social media, and they got to show only the good <sighs> shit. I should just shut the fuck up because I try to keep my shit real, and everybody's like, "Are she gonna die?" <laughs> Well, this is just, yeah, no, I love the real. I, that's why I come out here, talk, come out here talking about the real, talking about how I feel. Today I had a really productive day. Am I going to put it on social media? And I had a great productive day, man bossing it up. <laughs> Dick fucking bossing it up. It's like, no, fuck, God, shut the fuck up, man. With this whole boss, how many boss babes are there going to be? How many fucking boss bitches are going to be out there running around the streets, boss bitching it up? Every Surprising single one of them, except for the ones that don't. Announce it. Surprised none of these boss bitches haven't started boss bitch fighting like Cobra Kai. They're fucking beating awesome. Beating the shit out of each other. I want to see reality that. TV show. Let's see. I'm more of a boss bitch than you. Fuck Let's you. See who's the real boss bitch. I'm a fuck you shit up bitch. Now not to throw too, not to throw too much f- fuel on this fire, but if a boss bitch is a boss bitch, does a boss bitch pay her fucking bills? Probably right because you uh, yeah. got it all under control. Yeah. I am still to this fucking day for. Five plus months dealing with having the ex owe me fucking money for this fucking design shit that I did for her. And this just goes to tell me, okay, hey, everything's going great, guys. Everything's going wonderful, except paying my fucking bills. Pay your fucking bills, you (coughs) stupid, fucked up tooth cunt, okay? Just pay the fucking bills so you can move on being your boss, bitch. Did you send her a statement? Um, multiple fucking times every beginning of the fucking month. I'm getting sick of doing it. I send her fucking in, uh, Venmo reminders. I mean, send if, her the collections. if she's so fucking into support the local community, support your local fucking she's not designer artist, this preach or practice what you fucking preach, you goddamn hypocrite. OK, yeah, you can go all day, all night, not paying your shit and still boss babying it up. Just fucking pay the shit so you can just fucking fade into the background forever, okay? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Maybe that's why she's not. She's, I don't know. I have no idea why she's not. She doesn't even fucking respond now. Today, for instance, I take my rental back, right? Because I had the, the, the banged up car, right? Right, right. Her email was attached to my account. <clears throat> they accidentally sent her the email to the, the for the receipt. I immediately text her. I'm like, hey, you may get a receipt for this, blah, blah, blah. No response. No, I don't get any response. Ghosted. She apparently... Just wants positive things in her life. And apparently a bill to the person who did some fucking work for her isn't a positive thing. It's just, it's very aggravating because I just, I seriously, guys are this way. They don't want to drag shit out. I don't need to ever think about this fucking cunt again. I want to chop the goddamn arm off and slap her in the face with it. Just, I don't need to even think about her. It's fucking, oh, just fucking pay me and bye bye Shoo, just shoo. Okay, this is how guys operate. Girls, I, I, collections. Think, I think girls are different that in this way. Hmm. Girls kind of hold on to stuff a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. I mean, in in some aspects, I would beg to differ. Maybe it's just boss bitch. Maybe, maybe. No, I, don't know. I don't know what it is. Because I, I I don't think I've ever hung on to anything that hasn't hung on to me. Also, it's got to be equal. It's got to be equal kind of... Equal equal hangage. Equal tug of war a little bit. Got to have some shit going back and forth. These I can see that. But what's your take on what I brought up earlier about the Instagram, keeping the women on the Instagram? Because it's kind of, uh, girls like to measure up, don't they? There's a little bit of a... I don't compare myself to anybody. There's a little pissing, Matt. I can't compare myself to anybody. Yeah, because you're you're a little bit, you're a little next level. You're a little next level. I'm a little fucking... I'm a little fucking something. (laughs) The other night, the other night you were having some fucking something. Jesus Christ. Whole... (laughs) Can we, I don't know how much you want to talk about this, but there was an instance where I saw, I saw a little different side in there's a few <laughs> the other night. Which night was that? Because we've had like a, several nights where we've been. Yeah, we've only been like for the last freaking five days straight. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. 
It was the night that we were dead set on getting Taco Bell. Which, wait a minute, that doesn't really narrow it in. Oh, it? it was the night I fucking blew up. I was, that was like, that doesn't narrow it in. We've had, we've, we've had a Taco Bell oh, no. every fucking night. Yeah, but we were dead set on that shit and it was like a thing and yeah, oh, I blew the fuck up. Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, I blew the fuck up. No, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much you want to get into that, but oh, it was just, it. I don't give a fuck. It, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was a little scared as you were driving and texting while drunk on the fucking icy roads. It's just, a, I it's wasn't a, drunk. I was a little tip, like just a little. We didn't need, zzz. we didn't need that extra shot. No. We did not need that, was that extra bad, shot. bad, bad. You tried to curb it. You did. You were, you were like, uh. I shouldn't do that. Well, what you should have done is take, drink, sip, sip half of it and then gave it to me. But you, you were just like, ooh, that's good. It <laughs> was fucking delicious. It. I shouldn't, you know, yeah. No, because I swear to fucking Christ, you know, don't fucking, don't fucking call my goddamn parenting into question. I will fucking, I will, and then come to my fucking house. It's mine, yeah. my motherfucking house. And you, then you, there's an interesting I'm just going to stay here. You just stay whoever you're with. Fuck you. You give him a little bit of benefit of the doubt since it's, it's only, it's been pretty fresh. I mean, that it, that it, the transfer of everything happened oh, that and things are that way. Motherfucker. We're okay now, but. This, yeah. Oh. You, you got to kind of pull away a little bit. We were, you were, I had not seen you that heated. I don't think ever. I was fucking pissed. You were, and you were starting to, I was starting to feel like I was the. Uh, the, 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 you know, those body, those, those little punching dummies, the bomb, oh, yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. I was like, I'm sitting here, I'm just like watching it. I'm like, she's going to fucking swing and hit me at one of these times. She's going to, because you were, nah. you were feeling it, man. Yeah. Holy oh yeah. Shit. Oh yeah. But I was Holy saving shit. it. I was saving the f- fucking, I was saving it. I'll tell you what, I didn't do anything wrong or illegal. I just told you, <laughs> that's always the grace. That's always a loop. How he chooses to, yeah. to parent the children and how I choose to parent the children don't have to be neck and neck and side by side and whatever. Like, they are old enough. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they are old enough. The oldest is old yeah. enough that he can be there and he has a way to get a hold of me that if I want to come out and record or whatever, for right. you know, that, that they're fine. I don't know how many he times. He disagrees. I don't know how many times I've said this to when we hang out. It's probably... It's the lesser of all evils for anyone who's interested in hanging out with you more and having the relationship with you and stuff like that. Because I'm just, I'm like, the, I'm sitting here. What, what did I tell you when you left? Calm. You gotta, you gotta be calm. You can't go usually into I'm this. The calm I, one. Oh, are usually, you really? I'm are you usually, really? I'm usually. Oh yeah. Oh Cause, yeah. Because I'm usually not either. I'm not that way. So it, it's, it's taking me out of my. Uh, or I my, get fired up really fucking hot. I get really quick, but then it kind then, of like calms down. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're we're similar in that way. But I was. My problem is the instant gratification or like that, like I need to say something. There's something fun about watching the domino rally all fall down, isn't there? Like, there is like if I just stopped, reel it in, give it a few, whoosa, fucking rub the earlobes a little bit, whatever. If I did that, probably wouldn't be so bad, but no, no, because I don't give a fuck. And I especially don't give a fuck when I've had a couple drinks. <laughs> Let me just say, I mean, we've discussed this. Like, having a couple drinks or having just just enough drinks will lower your inhibitions, and you will say whatever the motherfuck you think or feel. Yeah, that's okay. come back. That's come out to I don't know. I talked to Pinkie Pie about that today too, What'd and she's like, she's like, it doesn't mean it's true. You can still lie when mm. you're when you're drunk, and I'm like, mm. Mm. I don't know about lying because I think it's the other way around. You're. I think everybody's like comes to a comes to a certain point where they don't want to say something, and having a couple sips or go, a shot of something, they they get they get, they get to that line. They're like, "Fuck this line," and they just keep on going. Well, she went a little tirade today because I told her about the you know we were talking about my situation, mm-hmm. and she went a little tirade, and I and you know I mean, she, was it the thing is I think she's a lot, probably a lot like I am. We we just want what's best for you. We know that some shit's going down mm-hmm. where. You probably don't feel like you're in your zone a little bit. Oh yeah, you she's know? like she's like you haven't been the same. Yeah, we want we want you to be in your zone, and I think that's why you like coming in here because this is you feel like this boom, is my zone. Fuck yeah, man! I'm gonna say what I want. I'm gonna do what I want. I get into this like nice little comfort zone, and it's the same way with me. I, I I'm not gonna just put on Instagram how great everything is. I'm gonna come on this program and tell you, hey, yeah, I've, I've had my heart broken over the last couple of years by some women and it's really fucking kind of fucked with my head and I haven't felt that way in probably 20, 30 years. Oh, it's I fucking, fucking feel you. It's fucking awful. 
And uh, I think everybody has, everybody feels that way at some point in their life. I'm not going to fucking gloss over the fact that, that that's not real. I'm, you know, that's what you're going through too. So, so, uh, well, and she's like, she's like, you know, there's only so much I can do for you. And, you know, like, she's like, I'll be there for you. Like you were there for me. Cause I was there for her when she, you know, was in the position to potentially be my sister-in-law. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, she's like, she's like, she's like, I love him, but at the same time I'm pissed at him, but I love him and God damn it, you know, mm-hmm. Just fucking cut it off. Just fucking cut it off. And I'm like... There are some benefits to that, but then there's some, like, doubt as you go on. Let's say, for instance, everything... Yeah, I'm, we're not kind of giving, giving away too much, uh, you know, backstage kind of info on all this. And people who... who for, the, for the most part, what we're going to just say is there there's some tug-of-war emotional hearts being pulled in directions. And it's, it's, it's hard to see somebody who you obviously... See happy with someone when they're together. struggle mm-hmm. to be happy when they're not together. Mm-hmm. That's that's all I'm gonna say. It's in just this a general, tough situation. It's just a tough situation. And she and her things like he made his choice. He made his choice. And I'm like, mm, whatever. <laughs> Clearly not not 100. percent And at this point, I'm okay with that. Because. Okay, so now with that in mind, I'm gonna bring up something today that's crossed my mind. Ooh, you deliberately stuck that show and the <laughs> message into we we all I didn't mean to and then I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to because they I, all all the all the group all the groups come up when I type in but, LB they all come up oh okay and so I didn't type, know because if I had over to, to, to post into that one I would have to scroll away the fuck down to get to it you no know? no I, I go create a new message I type in LB I always type it in because it's just LB and when I do that the group you know he'll all come up and then up, yeah. all the groups they all come up and so I hit it, and I looked, and I'm like, <sighs> sent. <laughs> you know, the only reason because I, I wasn't going to, and I was like, <sighs> you know, it's not like sending something to somebody that I shouldn't send to somebody. That's like a graphic of something that I shouldn't be sending, type of thing. Because we know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay. I know, I, or at least in my mind, I only went there because we were when we were hot tubbing the other at, at, at uh, Pinkie Pie's. That what yeah. was it? New, was it New Year's? Yes. You brought up the fact that you wanted to post a photo. To, I have the photo to that group, that specific group that we were talking about. Just to be about. a dick, right? Just to be a dick because, and, like and I, told, I, I told you. But what did I say? What was my voice of reason in uh, this in this case? Okay, probably I, not a good idea. I don't want people to be upset with me. I want everybody to get along. I don't give a shit how romantically involved you are with anybody else. I want all of us to all be happy and get along and not be mad if somebody. And right now, that's the way it is. Yeah, it should be. And so it should be with and, everything. Yeah, and right now that's the way it is. And I'm not. But I'll tell you what. Anytime I've ever, anytime I've ever sent him a message, said, "Go on skinny dipping." <laughs> guess who? Guess who? Fucking shows up magically. Oh, to the house. Jesus. Yeah, I'm shit. You gonna whip them fucking warlocks out? Come on now. <laughs> Just shows up, you know. What's up? You gonna show you gonna show some side boob to the kid? And then nobody's ever actually skinny dipped like either time or, or all three times, whatever the fuck it was. But it's but it's ironic. It's like uh, skinny dipping. Is there a difference between skinny dipping and just being naked in a hot tub? That's what it is. Well, it's the same thing. Skinny dipping. I don't know. Pool, pond, ocean, fucking lake, whatever. This is going to sound really weird and creepy, but my ex-wife and my kid, they're big skinny dippers. Big skinny dippers. I love it, man. It's like free. Yeah, it, is, it feels kind of good. I've, I've, not, I've only done the hot tub thing a, a little bit. We used to have a pool in the back, and I used to fucking hop in there and let it, let the let the jingle jangles just splish splash around in the water. It's comfortable. It's fucking good. Yeah. I it's like I'm it. in my mother again. I'm in her womb. <laughs> in the warmth of the womb. I don't like the idea of you like crawling back up into a, your mom's vag. It's the worst <laughs> sentence I've ever said. It feels like I'm in my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Awful. fuck. That's nasty. Literally. <laughs> 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 Let's final word it up. That was a very, very fun show to do. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't climb back up into your mother. No, don't. <laughs> don't even put your fingers anywhere near. <laughs> nothing. 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 You came out. Don't go back in. <laughs> Those are Fiona's final words. Mine are, holy shit balls. <laughs> yes, I saw her crack and I didn't spank it. Okay? That was, that's the bottom line. So we learned here in this episode of the show. My ass isn't so bad. No, it's, it's, you get a decent ass there. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I could be better, mm-hmm. but whatever. We all can be. It is what mm-hmm. it is for for not doing shit and being lazy as fuck. I didn't even bring up this redhead that I, I've been messaging the last couple of days. I'm terrible. Oh, like boy. That. 
There's it's time okay. for more. It's okay. Everybody, kid, this is going deep show. Make sure you hang and bang. Go to the GDS.com. I think this is it. We're almost at episode 1910 already. Fuck. We'll see you soon. Chill to the next one. Ha <laughs> ha.